Welcome to this quick briefing on using SEC Egger filings with DataZoa. Now I'm, I'm looking at Intel Corporation and I'm going to scroll down and find myself a 10K report. There it is. I click on the interactive data button and then I click on financial statements. There's my good friend the DZ dot. I hover on the dot, come over to the menu which it serves up, grab the first link, and I drag that link up to my DataZo tab where I've got my DataZo account open and ready to go. I drop that link on the data hunting scope, and there's my data. Now, I can do a number of things from DataZoa. One of the things I'm going to do is drag this blue handle over to a tab to create a separate copy of this data for me to work with. So dropping that on the plus sign creates a new tab. Now from here, I can do some fun things. I can mirror this table of data into an Excel spreadsheet. And that just means grabbing an Excel add-in from here and then copying and pasting this link. So instantly, the data can be put into my Excel spreadsheet. I can download the data. Um, you know, a variety of other, other choices. Um, but I could also share this data with my colleague. So I can do that via email, via SMS, or internal messaging and data. So uh, let's try SMS. I have my colleague's phone number right there. I hit the send button, and it's off. My colleague could open this, this table of data on his smartphone save it to his home screen and call it up whenever he needs it. So if he's sitting in a meeting discussing the financial statements of Intel, uh, that he's got exactly what he needs. He's got the latest three years of data. Now there are other things you can do with DataZoa. 